Welcome to Lesson 13, David and Bathsheba. Christians link David with two names, Goliath and Bathsheba. These stories remind us of David's greatest victory and his greatest failure. 1 Samuel 17 reveals David's early encounter and victory over Goliath. Now, at the height of his kingship, David falls prey to the lure of entitlement that often comes with authority, power, and fame. Spring had arrived in Israel, the time kings go out to battle. But this year, David sent Joab to fight while he remained safe in Jerusalem. One evening, as he strolled on his roof, he spotted a beautiful woman bathing and sent a servant to learn her identity. She was Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah. Filled with desire, he sent for her and laid with her. Weeks later, she sent a message to him. She was pregnant. David's cover-up began. He sent for her husband Uriah, one of his trusted men. When Uriah returned from the battlefield, David sent him to his wife, hoping to unite them so he will think the child belonged to him. But being a dedicated soldier, he slept with the guards at the king's palace. David got him drunk and sent him home, but again he refused. His plans started falling apart. Desperate, David sent Uriah back to Commander Joab with a letter instructing him to send Uriah to the front of the battle and ordered his fellow soldiers to retreat, allowing the enemy to kill him. The plan worked and Uriah was killed. After Bathsheba completed the morning time for her husband, David sent for her, married her, and she bore a son. Then God intervened and sent Nathan to David to tell the king a story. A rich man planned a feast and stole a sheep from a poor man instead of using his own. Anger swelled in David at such injustice, but Nathan replied, You are the man. David knew he sinned against the Lord. No more denial or cover-up, just confession, sorrow, and mourning. The Lord struck the son born to Bathsheba and David with sickness. David refused food and prostrated himself on the ground, grieving and praying for seven days. But the boy died. The fearful servants whispered to each other, afraid to tell the king he passed. But David perceived the truth. He rose made himself presentable, and ate, surprising them. He eased their confusion, explaining that while his child was alive, he prayed for the Lord to heal the baby. Since the child died and can no longer come back to life, now David would eat. David resumed his kingship, but as a broken, vulnerable leader, he asked and received forgiveness from God but the consequences of his actions remained. Even as a scarred man, he realized his sin was foremost against God. Under the law, how could there be forgiveness for murder and adultery? David relied on God's grace alone. We witness David's God-given strength in the Goliath story. Now we see God humble David, yet granted mercy. Through Bathsheba, David had another son, Solomon.